Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and or my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you a story, The Enchanted Cap. Once you've seen the wild Irish coast and the whales and dolphins swimming near it, it is not hard to believe in the existence of sea fairies. The shore is like a doorway to another world, a mysterious kingdom under the waves where the rules are marrow, merfolk, Selkies, sea fairies all. This bittersweet mermaid tale has many variations. Long ago, in the village of Golerus, lived a fisherman named Dick Fitzgerald. He stayed alone in a stone cottage above the shore with nothing but seagulls for company. In the long winter evenings, he would smoke his pipe by the pit fire and watch the blue smoke curling. And sometimes when the wind rustled the grass outside, he seemed to hear a voice sighing his name. One evening, the men of the village were bringing their boats full of herring unto shore. Homeward, they hurried to warm places where their wives were setting up lights. Dick Fitzgerald was the last to drag his boat up on shore and hoist the string of fish upon his back. Then. As he turned, he saw a glimmer of white in the shadows of the rocks. Between birds' cries, he heard high laughter. He set down his fish and carefully stepped toward the rocks, hardly daring to breathe, hiding behind the largest rock. He saw seven women with long flowing hair, white as swans, dancing in a circle amid the waves. As he saw a pile of red caps hipped on a boulder nearby. Now he knew that they were mermaids who in the sea are seals but near land take off their enchanted caps and appear as women. Dick Fitzgerald crept toward the pile of caps and slid the top one down. The dance stopped and the women raced to the boulder and slipped on their caps. Shiny brown seals slittered back into the foam. All but one, she stood before him as white as pearl, her sea green hair shining in the night. She stared at him with great dark eyes, then said in a trembling voice, Oh man, please give me back my cap. He took a step toward her and grasped her outstretched arm. Come with me, fish, he said gently, and I will make you mistress, Fitzgerald. All the village came to the wedding of Dick Fitzgerald and the mermaid. Six sheep were roasted, 
and Fitzgerald clapped his hands to the music of fiddle and pipe. The women sat quietly, listening to private music of her own. Thirteen summers passed, and she bore him two children, a boy and a girl. They had the sandy hair of their father, but the dark eyes of their mother. And there were little webs of clear skin between their fingers and toes. Each day, when Dick was out in his boat, the mermaid and her children would wander the shore to gather shells. In May, when the air smelled of roses and the children danced around her, she seemed almost happy. But during the storms, she grew restless and moved about the house as if pulled by unseen tides. One afternoon, as she knelt digging up roots to roast for supper, the voice of her daughter rang through the salty air. Look! I found the strangest thing in an old fishing net. Her mother rose to her feet and touched the red cap. With one arm around her daughter, she called her son and spoke softly. Soon you will not see me again in the shape I am in now. As much as I love you, I must become myself again. That night, as the moon rose, the mermaid left her sleeping husband and walked alone to the shore. Lightly, she stepped over the rocks, holding her red cap. She took one last look at the cottage. Then she donned her cap and dropped into the water. A sleek brown head streamed toward the horizon and then leaping and diving came six other seals. They formed a circle around her and then all were lost in the night. Dick Fitzgerald steered and called for his wife. The only answer was the rustle of grass outside. Year after year, he waited for her to return, but she never did, except on nights when the moon was young and his children would not sleep but ran down to the sun's and silent webbed feet. There by the rocks, they waited for a speckled brown seal with great dark eyes. Laughing and calling her name, they splashed into the foaming water and swam with her until dawn. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, The Enchanted Cap. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!